This is one of the best defenses to use in Madden 24. Got him. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. It gets interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be using two new playbooks. On offense, I'll be once again using my brand new 49ers offensive ebook that I just put out as I want to show you guys some new plays. But on defense, I'm going to switch back to my multi D defensive ebook because I wanted to show you guys some new defenses out of that. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking on the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm going to be using a new team as well in the San Francisco 49ers. I want to use this team because one, it was the most requested in the comment section, but two, because I figured that since I'm using their offense, I'm might as well use the team that the offense was designed for. For my substitutions, their biggest problem on offense is still Brock Purdy. I mean, he's as accurate as anyone, but he has a shrimpy arm with a low throw power of only 84, as this will definitely limit my deep passing game. But since I'm focusing on defense in this video, I had to find a defense that fits this team. I have the four horsemen of the apocalypse as my four down lineman, so I'm good there, but I don't really have a ton of speed at linebacker, so my 3-4 odd scheme is out. I do, however, have a pretty decent bench at cornerback, though, with four cornerbacks that have at least 91 speed or higher, making this the perfect team for the defense I'm going to show you guys today. In today's gameplay, I have a matchup of the two second best teams in the conference in the Detroit Lions and the San Francisco 49ers because you know neither of these teams can mess with the Eagles right now. I know it's early, but give me your predictions in the comments section. I got my birds winning by a little bit more of a comfortable score than the last two weeks of a score of 28 to 24. Also, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate the support. The defense that I'm going to show you guys today is the Dime Normal as this has been one of my favorite defenses to use for some time but i know that since i only have four down linemen and one linebacker that my read and react ai defense will be turned off for the entire game so this defense is definitely much better against opponents that like to pass more than run which is probably most players for my audible plays i'm going to need a cover four so that the safeties can help me out in run defense i'm also going to use the db blitz zero for when i want to send the house but this defense has an added benefit of being a good outside run defense as well also have the dime blitz three so i can get a similar look from a zone coverage and this is a matching cover three and my base defense is once again the cover six as this is a fully matching cover six on both sides my fifth and active play is the three double buzz which i really only use to confuse my opponent every once in a while which you'll see later in the video for my coaching adjustments the two most important things is to always have your zone match set to on as all the zone coverages that i'm using today are going to be matching style defenses and have your auto alignment set to base so that all your defenses look the same pre-snap on the first play, I get to show you guys my run defense. All you really have to do is pinch the defensive line, and it does a pretty good job of closing up the inside run lanes. But you also have to be good at filling holes as the only user middle linebacker on the field. On the second play, I choose the cover three blitz, as this has the exact same setup where I will pinch the D-line, only this time, I also hover the center gap before dropping back into coverage. And he hits a crossing route right in front of me out of the mesh double drags concept, which is one of the hardest concepts to stop in the game, as no man or zone really stops both of these routes. Since he ran once and passed once, I switched to my base defense on the next play in the cover six, but I decided to spread my D-line so that I can get a better pass rush. And doing this opens a wide chasm right up the middle that he gladly takes for another first down. So on the next play, I pinched the D-line once again, and it doesn't matter as the Lions have one of the best running games in the league. I stay with on the next play though, and one of the reasons I like cover six is that it has the personnel to stop both inside and outside runs. Since cover four is the best inside run defense since the safeties on this side will play the run a lot like a line linebacker as long as they don't get his pass so i will often bring him down into the box but cover four is also weak against outside runs since the cornerbacks drop back and that's why we have our cover two side as that's the best zone coverage to stop outside runs giving me the best of both worlds as we get a stop on the very next play bring that ass here boy on third and two since he ran more than he passed so far i set up to stop the run once again only this time i switched to my best inside run defense in the cover four match as both of these safeties will now look to drop down and fill lanes as long as I don't get past. So I make sure to bring them down into the box, only this time he goes right back to the drag route and we take over at midfield. Gotcha, bitch. On offense, I'm going to start this game out by using my gun split close scheme. 
But I'm mostly going to be focusing on defense in today's video. I already made a full breakdown of this offense, though. So if you guys want to see more about this, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of this video. So stick around for that. I start the drive out by running before I switch to the wheel play, as run CMC is going to be my entire offense as long as I can get away with it, before I switch back to the read option. And it looks like he's going to meet me in the hole. Yeah. But he whiffs on the hit stick. Yeah. And I whiff on the truck stick. And either he gets pass or run CMC is just like that. And we take it to the house. On the next kickoff, he tries to backtrack on me to get around my return coverage. And now he gets to start at the 8-yard line. But he starts to drive out well to get a big pass outside to second and short. And I switch back to cover four since I expect him to run more to try to pick up the first. So I do the full setup, bring the safeties down, but it's no help as he picks up the first down. On the next play, I decide to set a trap and choose the three double butts. I like to use this play with the cover four quarters because the setup is very similar. So all I have to do is bring these two safeties down. And I'm hoping that he thinks I'm in the same cover four match run defense as I also pitch the defensive line. I would usually recommend switching out your linebacker for a safety if you're going to use this play a lot, but I'm not taking Fred Warner off the field. I'm also going to be using one of the safeties this time. He tries to hit the crosser once again. Gotcha, bitch. And if I didn't get turned around, I would have been gone for the touchdown. Yeah. I go back to my split close offense and mostly work McCaffrey in the flats to get to a fourth and one before I decide to go for it. And that is because I know that this wheel route is unstoppable. But I should have stuck with it as I throw an interception in the end zone a few plays later. But this is a defensive video anyways, as it looks like my opponent is all but giving up on the pass and running inside, as he breaks off two big outside runs to the edge on back-to-back -back plays, as this is definitely the weakness of this smaller defense. But you can't run outside forever. Sit your ass down! Passing outside doesn't really work either. Trail I bet you here! as we force a third and long and if i wasn't already using this area i probably would have switched on and got an interception from here his plan seems to be pound the rock and it works well to get him inside the red zone but this is a bend but don't break philosophy and it's always harder to score in the red zone as there just isn't as much space to work down here and my red zone defense by default is once again the cover four quarters as this is my best run defense and the four deep zones usually fill up the end zone making it very hard to pass before he switches to an empty backfield look and i switch back to my cover six since there's no running back on the field as this is the best pass defense and we force an incomplete pass on the next two plays to get into a fourth and eight <laughs> that he decides to go for i stay in cover six and i've been baseline on the last two plays just to get these defenders closer to their targets but i get stuck on a defensive tackle when he hikes the ball in the very next play and even that doesn't stop me from cutting off the passing lanes <laughs> So with 54 seconds left before the half, he keeps backing off his entire secondary as to not give up a touchdown, so I keep taking the check down, as you always have to take what the defense gives you, even in this situation, and he's still walking me right down the field with his prevent defense. And it looks like he finally made an adjustment to switch to man coverage, but the flat on the other side is still getting open, so I take down the next two plays to get down to the one yard line before punching it in with the old tush push to end the half. And I'm throwing it to the flat so much that he switches the cover two again on the very next play. But I read that and decide to split the safeties instead. Break yourself, fool! To get back in the field goal range. As I said in previous videos, I can literally run just this one play the entire game. Before I make a bad read, switch plays, and have to throw it away, leading to an intentional grounding penalty that completely derails the drive. Hi. So I take the check down on third and forever just to secure an easier field goal and get my three possession lead. On defense, my opponent has to score quickly if he wants to stay in this game, but he hasn't been able to pass all game, as I only allowed 32 passing yards at this point. But he tries on second and six, and he's lucky that I ran into his tight end a little bit too far downfield, or I would have had another takeaway. <coughs> but you can see why he decides to run the ball against his defense for the rest of the drive, regardless of what it does at the clock, as he just can't complete a pass against my defense. And it seems like he's completed more passes to me than his own team at this point. <laughs> As we get our fourth interception of the game, get the shutout and the rage quit. See ya. I will have more from the offenses and defenses I was using in today's gameplay. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links on the screen. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make it out. Your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.